I've come across a charity which has been collecting in Scotland. Here they are in the Ocean Terminal Shopping Centre in Edinburgh. It's called First Night Military Charity and claims to offer respite breaks for injured servicemen. I remember the Charity Commission's instructions and do my checks. The charity number is in place. The account's filed and they've even signed up to the industry's code of fundraising best practice. If my money's safe with anyone, it should be with these guys. Now, I've discovered a little problem with First Night. As well as collecting money directly from the public in shopping centres around Scotland and the rest of the country, they've also got another very interesting little sideline. And it comes from that shop just over there. The shop is the charity's registered headquarters in, you've guessed it, Blackpool. It's from here they sell mainly military merchandise, with every penny going straight into the charity. It's just, some of what they sell is a tad questionable. I want to capture it on camera. My boyfriend was in this morning buying some funny T-shirts. Oh, yes. There's something about... Infidels, piggy, uh, pork eating... Is that, was that it? Hidden behind a rail of clothes and kept under a shelf are a number of boxes. Do you not keep them on display? I can't look at them. <laughs> Something like that. Um... He shows me his range of T-shirts, starting with this one. And then this one, which is slightly more descriptive in appearance. I don't get the pork eating bit. You're not allowed to eat it, are they? Who? These Muslims. Beer drinking, it's basically against their religion. Women are not allowed to womanize, are they? And yet they call us infidels. <laughs> oh, I see. You couldn't wear that in public. Uh, no. On the right is Andy Linehan, trustee and founder of First Night Charity. He helpfully directs me to more charity merchandise in equally bad taste. There's other badges there which are like flags. I don't know. Inside, Velcro patches meant for uniforms and baseball caps. This one says Taliban Hunting Club. And this one... Beer drinking, pork eating, womanizing infidel. Oh, my God. Yeah. What's 72 well, virgins when express? A, when you kill a Muslim, you oh, get God. 72 virgins in heaven, doesn't it? When they're supposed to go up to heaven or wherever yeah. they go to, there's 72 oh, virgins. Oh, Hello, Danny. How are you? Even though my head's blown off, or... That's Sorry. true. Did yeah. you ever get any trouble for selling anything like that? Like, no! Did anybody ever come no, in and complain? Right. We don't put them in the window, though. Yeah. And so all of this money will go to the charity to yeah, help them. Yeah, that is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Um, they then tell me where some of their funds go. Lee Risby, Mum. Uh, you know, the young chap that was killed in London. Lee Risby. The guardsman. The guardsman. The hood, uh, yeah. Um, his mum's just set up a charity to um, help bereaved widows and families really? and soldiers. So we sponsored her, we'd given her a lot of money to set her up, things like that. Yeah. How but, much uh, did you give her? I think it was a thousand pounds. I've got everything. Bye. So money raised from this merchandise is helping fund other genuine military causes. First Night is a registered charity. It's signed up to the industry's own code of ethics. On paper, it's perfect. Yet I wondered what those who'd fought on the battlefield and in whose name this type of fundraising was being done would think of what I'd found. Former Army Major James Heapy, now an MP, served in Afghanistan with the rifles. His regiment suffered the most deaths of any in the conflict. Every penny from that T-shirt is going to the charity. It's being sold from their charity shop. I find it sickening that as a vehicle for raising money for military charities, we should put out stuff, that, 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 that stuff like that should be sold. It's offensive. It's what we were there fighting against, that sort of thing. I, 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 it's just... That shocks you? Yeah. I, 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 and disappointed and, and angry and, you know, not in my name. It, it makes the money tainted, you know? If you turn around to those soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines and said, by the way, guys, you understand that this money was raised by selling this, they'd be appalled. They'd be absolutely appalled. <laughs>